Holy crap, it's Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not Santa Claus. I'm Clyde Claus. You never heard of me. Uh, you, my, big, my big brother, Nick, you know, when you've got an overachieving elder sibling, it's really the pits. <laughs> Before we get started, I got a favor to ask you. Okay, this story that we're about to tell you is a very unusual combination of two old Christmas stories but we weren't the two to think of combining them it was a friend and fellow storyteller named Kathy Crowley and Kathy had the good decency to move to Dubai so we could steal her story <laughs> but well, I figure eventually Kathy's going to get online and see us telling her story. So, yeah. You know, she could hire somebody to come here. So what I would like to do is to have everybody do a great big shout out to Kathy Crowley so she'll know she's loved. One, two, three. Yeah! Yeah! Kathy! We love you, Kathy, wherever you are. Yeah, come back home, but only after we've established this is our story. <laughs> All right. And accompanying us tonight, the lovely Cupid. Yes. Who knew Cupid could play the violin? Viola. Viola. <laughs> Whoops. Whatever, the fiddle. <laughs> okay. Ready? We're ready. Tell a story. It was December 25th. And Bethlehem was all abuzz. Seems like there was some kind of tax deal going on and everybody was having to go and travel and man, the all the trails were bumper to bumper, ass to ass, whatever. And uh, they... They were all just kind of trying to get where they wanted to go, and and finally, uh, it got quiet about sundown. And the animals in the barn behind the inn, you know, the uh, Bethlehem Days Inn, uh, it was quiet. And the animals finally said, "At last, we're gonna get a little bit of sleep." But just as the last animal started to doze off, suddenly this man came running in and started throwing hay everywhere. I mean, hay was flying from corner to corner, and finally he fluffed up some right in the middle. And at that moment, this real pretty but incredibly round young woman kind of waddled in and settled herself down and, oh, 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 those hemorrhoids, oh. And laid down on that hay, and then the man came and laid down next to her, and they started to doze off. And the animals said, at last. But then all of a sudden, there was a big to-do. They lit the oil lamp again, and, and everything just went crazy. And all the animals stood there in amazement. Because they had seen a lot of animals born, but they had never seen a human born. And there it happened. Right there in their little barn, a little baby came to be. But no sooner had that woman delivered that baby, when that baby started in, wah, 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 wah. Now, the mother got up for a few minutes and walked that baby back and forth, and then she was so tired, she sat down and she rocked that baby back and forth. And then she got up and walked that baby back and forth, but that baby just kept right on. Wah! 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 Finally, she looked over and said, Jesus, Joe, can you help me out here? Christ almighty, Mary, you know it's not my kid. I mean... <laughs> But finally, Joseph took his turn and tried to quiet the baby, and then he, he drugged the manger, you know, the food crib, right out into the middle. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, the mo 
mother started shaking that manger, but she was so tired. Well, so were the animals, and they had pretty well had enough, and they decided somebody's going to have to do something. So that cow walked up, looked down at that baby, and then looked over at that mother. Moo. You know, sometimes I have trouble getting my baby to sleep, and when I do, all I have to do is sing it a lullaby. May I? God, she was only 16. She didn't know postpartum hallucinations were this vivid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Try it. Now, would y'all please join in? Moo, 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 Needless to say, the little baby was doing like this. Cow slobbers all over him. And he wasn't anywhere near asleep. Oh, the mother just sighed and thanked the cow for her effort and went back to shake in that manger. And that's when the sheep walked up, looked at the baby, looked over at the mother and said, But one baby, we sheep often have two babies at a time. And you just try to get two babies to sleep. But I have a lullaby that always gets my babies to sleep. May I? You can try. Oh. So she began to sing. Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, ba 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 ba, ba ba ba. Ba 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 now the mother just sighed and thanked the sheep and went back to shaking that manger. And then all of a sudden, Wah! and there sitting on the edge of the manger was the chicken. Wah! Two babies, really got to try to get 12 babies to sleep. Wah! But I have a lullaby that always works with my chicks. May I? What the hell? <laughs> This baby's impossible. Do it. So she started to sing. For the first time in history, a newborn child sat bolt upright in his crib. What the hell is that? Uh, and the child was no closer to going to sleep. And Joseph said, Mary, do something about that kid! Now, all this time, there was a cat sitting up in the rafters of that stable, and the cat finally had had enough. It jumped down jumped up on the edge of that little manger and then slid in beside that baby and started rubbing up against the sleigh back and forth and back and forth back and that baby Woo! couldn't enjoy it that much get that filthy animal away from my child oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ringworms oh uh. <laughs> You know how cats are. Oh, uh, anyway, 
He tried to move the cat. But that mother stopped him and said, Are you kidding? Leave that cat alone? Look! And that baby had laid back down, arms and legs still, and his eyes were going to sleep. Now that very grateful mother reached over to that cat and started to trace her initial back and forth between that cat's ears, up and down and back and forth. And that cat started to purr. Mm. Now why is Joseph enjoying this so much? And so it was that baby Jesus had his first good night's sleep. (laughs) He was well swaddled that night. But lest you think that this story is just made up, you go out to the barn on Christmas Eve and all the animals do speak at midnight on Christmas Eve. And... That cat, Mary's manger cat, why, it was a tomcat. And he went around and spread his little tomcat genes everywhere. They even came to this country. Some of y'all probably have tabby cats. You do. Look for, look at, if you've got a stripy cat, go home and look at him right now after this. And and look right twinkst his ears. And if he has... That letter M traced on his head, then he is definitely a descendant of that very first Mary's manger cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>